the dreadful student loans, but the not so dreadful Shiv Oberoi from the Oberoi Financial Group is here to help you figure it out, to help all of us figure it out. How do you pay off those student loans? Thank you so much for joining us, Thank Shiv. Thank you for having me. Welcome back to the show. All right, let's get to it. The average debt load is about 27, uh, almost $28,000 yeah. when somebody gets out of university. Yes. Ideally, before we get to the tips, how, when should somebody have finished paying that off? So your goal is, and we always tell our, our students that we work with, you want to be two to three years after completing university or college or whatever uh, post-secondary education you did, to have that loan cleared off. Two to three two years. Two to three years is the goal. It can extend a little bit more, and obviously if you can do it a lot quicker, it's, it's a lot better. But you really want to tell yourself two to three years from completing, you should be fully debt-free. So let's get to the tips. First of all, know what you owe. Sounds yeah. easily, easy enough. Sounds easy enough, but it's something that a lot of people obviously don't always know because they seem to forget exactly they have three or four different loans. They could have a government loan, they could have a bank loan, they could have personal loans, they could have lines of credit as well. So when you add all the things up together, you kind of forget, oops, I forgot this one. So it's really important to really document everything, have a spreadsheet, have some kind of system that works for you, understand what you owe, how much is the balance, to whom you owe it, and what the interest rates are as well. Otherwise, you can't tackle the problem. Absolutely. That, okay, create a proper budget. This yes. is hard for a lot of people, yeah. right? Because the temptation to spend is everywhere. It's not even that. It's also people just don't have the time, or they feel like they don't have the time to sit down, maybe take 10 minutes a day, really document everything that's coming in and everything that's going out. Really? And so write down everything you're spending? Absolutely. And that will really help you understand at the end of the day, okay, I have $100 left over, I have $20 left over, or I'm in the hole $50. And then based on that, you can rework your budget and figure out exactly what you need and where you need to cut or where you can add expenses or add any type of spending. Okay, prioritize higher interest rate loans. Why? Very key. So what you want to do is you have different interest loans, different rates. You can have a rate of 3%, you can have a rate of 5%. You want to get rid of the highest interest rate loans first because you're going to be paying way more interest. It's going to take you much longer to pay off that loan. Yeah. You can even do a debt consolidation, which means you can take some of your lowest interest rate, your lower interest rate loans and use that to pay off your higher interest rate loans. Makes sense. And then have a higher loan on a lower interest rate. Higher loan on lower interest rates. Absolutely. Rate because the higher interest rate, of course, will Absolutely. kill you. Top up payments whenever you can. Makes yes. sense. Anytime you have any excess cash lying around, put it right to your loan right away. So hard to tell someone to do yeah. that. You're like, oh, look, I have all this extra money. I have to pay off my loan. But that brings us to the last point, which I think is a very important. When you do have that extra money lying around, yeah. you say keep living like a student for a while. I Absolutely. love this. So this is one of the hardest things is you go from making no money to getting a salary and the temptation is there. I have this paycheck coming in. I'm going to go buy. I'm going to go for a really fancy dinner or I'm going to go fancy buy fancy dinner or I'm going to buy a nice pair of shoes or a nice watch or something. No, the motto really is until you have a student loan, live like a student. Until you have the student loan, live like a student. Live like a student. So maybe, you know, the ramen noodles once in a while, the, the craft the, dinner. The craft dinner. Hey, no, there's nothing wrong with craft dinner. Yeah. And so again, thank you, Shiv. Uh, thank you. In the uh, two to three years, you want to be completely debt free. That's the goal. All right. So tell yourself, focus on it, and you can do it. Live like a student until you're debt free. Well, student loan debt free. All right, Shiv Obroy, thank you so much for thank joining you. us. We'll see you again soon, yes. I'm sure. Thank you for having me.